reimagined classics, textured wonders, and a little bit of theatre really defined this year's New York Bridal Fashion Week. Designers pulled out all the stops to create these incredibly fresh takes on timeless silhouettes and playful designs. This is officially your insider sneak peek into what's to come in the world of bridal fashion. So let's go through everything you need to know when it comes to choosing a fashion forward wedding dress this coming season. Let's talk about it. Welcome back my loves to The Curated Wedding. I'm Nasli, I run Offley Place, an award-winning wedding venue where we've hosted hundreds of beautiful wedding days. I've also recently gotten married myself, so I'll be unveiling all my insider secrets and top tips from both sides of the aisle so that we can discuss the art of a curated wedding. So if you're interested, hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of my weekly wedding tips so that you don't miss a thing. Today, we're diving into the hottest trends straight from the runways of New York Bridal Fashion Week, giving you an exclusive peek into what's in store for spring and summer wedding season fashion. Now let's get into it. Number Number one is dropped waist corsets. First up on our list of top trends is one of my favorites, the dropped waist corset. Dropped waists are everywhere in the fashion world at the moment and I am loving it. From long line corsets to more peplum inspired shapes, in the world of bridal fashion, the dropped waist corset silhouette is undoubtedly reigning supreme for the coming wedding season. This trend, which has been steadily growing in the background, has now finally cemented its status as the ultimate choice for any chic bride. Designers have found endless ways to interpret and innovate upon this more classical style, from ruched tulle and draped satin gowns from Chosen by Kaya, to a more shimmery A-line dress by Anne Barge. Monique Loelia's Bliss presented a gorgeous dropped waist gown with an inverted back pleat skirt, and we can't forget Ines de Santos' beaded dropped waist ball gown, which was accentuated with this dramatic tulle skirt. You can expect to see a range of options that really emphasize an elongated torso and offer a more modern twist on traditional bridal elegance. This look is perfect for brides who are looking for a little more structure in their dress and to feel like they're being held in a really comfortable way. Each designer has put a unique touch on this trend to make sure that every bride can find the perfect dropped waist corset gown so that you can make a statement on your special day. Number two is convertible gowns. Convertible gowns were seen all over the runway for the next season of bridal fashion, offering brides a whole new level of versatility. Designers are really putting a twist on traditional wedding attire with removable sleeves, overskirts, and adjustable drapery. This means that you can really easily change up your look throughout the day without needing a whole second dress. This Eze Azanabo piece is a really stunning example of that. It's all about adding drama to different parts of the wedding. Whether it's a grand ceremony or a lively reception, you can use these detachable details and accessories to make sure that you are dressed accordingly at all times. Nordine is also an amazing brand as they're very focused on sustainability. They showcase numerous convertible two-piece styles that then really eliminate the need for a second outfit at all. So if you can keep your corset top but change your ball gown skirt to a more fitted pair of trousers for the reception or after party, this would be such an elegant and dramatic outfit change. With convertible outfits, you can really have it all. Style, confidence, and lots of options. I think this is such a fun element for you to look for when you're trying to find a dress. A convertible outfit really gives you the chance to express your unique style while feeling confident and comfortable the whole way along. Number three is ruched tulle. Ethereal and enchanting, ruched tulle dresses are growing really popular and we're now seeing them take over the runway. Unlike more minimalistic styles, these dreamy dresses are romantic and detailed, creating a really graceful statement dress for any bride. Designers have used ruched tulle in different ways, like in tiered A-line dresses, sophisticated off-the-shoulder dresses, or airy, more chiffon style cape. Designers such as Monique Loelier 
and Kaya opted for these really full tulle skirts to bring this beautiful shape to the dress. Whereas Andrew Kwon, for example, took a completely different approach by using the fabric to create this dynamic yet soft draping of tulle down to the floor. Whether you're looking for more of a fairy tale feel or more of a relaxed boho chic vibe, Rouge Tulle really gives you a modern and sophisticated choice that will make you feel really elegant and beautiful on your wedding day. This one really is a reimagined classic. The Basque Waist. Drawing inspiration from the lavish fashion of period dramas like The Great and Bridgerton, which I love, the Basque Waist is a really interesting and captivating trend for the bridal season. The Basque Waist is very similar to the Dropped Waist, but this silhouette is characterized by a sharp V-shaped point that really elongates the body even more and adds volume to the hips, giving this sense of regal elegance, fit for a modern day queen or bride. Designers have embraced the Basque waist in various forms, from structured bodices, from balakina, or strapless A-line gowns adorned with lace and silk tulle, such as this one by Sank. There are numerous options for you to choose from if you're looking for a touch of that Bridgerton vibe. Some of my favorites that we saw on the runway are Lee Hod's dramatic Basque waist in both lace and Mikado silk. I just love the texture and the movement of this one, as well as Savannah Miller's striking shell inspired dress. And it's convertible too, because the puff sleeves that you see are completely detachable. So this one is a firm favorite. If you're looking for a softer and more romantic look, the Basque waist really creates that with an added sophistication that is the perfect touch for walking down the aisle. Crystal embellishments. Crystal embellishments were seen all over the place on the New York Bridal Fashion Week runway. So we will definitely be seeing more of them coming onto the bridal scene, adding this touch of glamour and sophistication to your wedding gowns. Moving slightly away from the dominance of pearls that we've seen in the previous season, although we still love pearls, designers are now choosing to opt for more shimmering crystals that sparkle and shine as the bride makes her way down the aisle. From chic party looks to elegant bridal ensembles, crystal embellishments are beautifully incorporated to elevate the overall aesthetic of the gown. I am obsessed with Ines de Santo's gorgeous crystal creation, which I think is the perfect party chic look for the evening too. While Ellie Saab adds a touch of glitz to this wedding dress to create more of an elegant glamour. The strategic placement of these crystals adds a touch of opulence without overwhelming the design and creating a harmonious balance between glamour and sophistication. Whether it's subtly scattered across the bodice or intricately woven into detailed patterns, such as this gorgeous Essay Azanabor piece, crystal embellishments are sure to make you feel like a radiant, glistening goddess on your special day. This one is definitely more of a statement for those braver brides. Something blue. I'm really excited for this one as it's quite a brave choice for you more fashion forward brides. In a fun twist, the traditional idea of something blue is stealing the spotlight at New York Bridal Fashion Week. We've seen small pops of blue showing up in bridal fashion for events leading up to the wedding and even little touches of blue when it comes to accessories accessories like bags, shoes, or even jewelry on the day of the wedding. But moving away from those small accents, the designers have gone all out this time, really embracing the color blue in exciting and really eye-catching ways. Think Cinderella style dresses in blue from Ines de Santo or Tana Fletcher's dresses with blue feathers and bows. There are even bold blue floral gowns by Varka and pastel blue dresses by Nadia Manjares. This new take on an old tradition adds a playful and modern vibe to wedding fashion, letting you add a bold personal touch to your look. So whether it's a nod to the tradition or a bold fashion move, this fresh twist on the classic style 
something blue doesn't seem to be going anywhere just yet. And finally, party look. As more and more brides are choosing a party outfit, either for the wedding reception or an after party, designers are now also moving into that space and creating gorgeous options to steal the show when it comes to the evening too. We are really embracing the trend of wearing multiple looks here. Almost all of the collections featured sparkly mini dresses or chic two pieces that add an extra touch of playful glamour to your evening look. Sequins, crystals and lace and feathers were all over the runway, offering these gorgeous opulent outfit choices so that the bride can literally shine on the dance floor all night long. Markarian's line was filled with these lovely sparkly styles that truly set the tone for the celebration and everyone has been talking about Francesca Miranda's striking two-piece set. Such a playful and chic evening look, I really love this one. This trend is so much fun and reflects this shift towards brides wanting to express their unique personality and celebrate in style all throughout their wedding celebrations, from the ceremony all the way through to the after party, creating unforgettable memories in each look. Now that's it for our little roundup and our insider sneak peek at what is to come in the world of bridal fashion. If you like this video and you like to see more of this kind of thing, give the video a like and drop a comment down below to let me know which trend was your favorite. In the meantime, you can catch me over on Instagram on at the.curated.wedding where I'm always posting fresh inspiration and tips so you won't want to miss us there. And I'll definitely be back with another video next week. See you next time and happy planning. Morning.